Hey guys, how's it going? It's Clary Berry. I'm here today with sort of a quick, this is going to be a Gemini moon, Gemini sun sign, an astrological horoscope video here with a little bit of tarot and intuition as well. So we are going through, we're in Venus and Virgo. Okay, we are looking at ourselves, looking at our relationships, looking at our people, our person, and it's kind of, there's this holding back energy. It's a little bit of modestness here. And sometimes it can come through as, again, this criticism, criticism or doubt. Okay, so it's important time to go within. We're already wanting to go within with the Mars, or excuse me, with the Scorpio uh, Mercury energy that we have. It's just naturally allowing us to be more intuitive and more kind of proactive on this inner side. Okay, so we're kind of weighing out this Venus and Virgo with our inner work that we're doing, and it's coming out as this new direction, okay, in this Taurus and Uranus wedge that we still have left over from Monday, okay? In addition to that, um, actually, no, so we're, we're leaving behind a couple of trines on Monday, so we really just have this, like this wedge energy um, when Gemini comes in and we have some kind of excitable energy with Taurus. Um, but I really think that here it's being excited about what you're, we need to stay excited about learning. We need to keep learning, keep growing, keep getting deeper and higher, deeper and higher, and use this time, use this time that we have this Mercury and Venus and even Virgo and Venus, or excuse me, Mercury and Scorpio, even Virgo and Venus can be you know, this deeply healing, because again, you're able to really kind of judge things. You're able to criticize and, and judge things in a, in a really clear way. The analytical skills of this Venus Virgo and this, you know, this wedge with Mercury and Scorpio is, again, it's just helping in letting go. A practicality in, again, letting go what doesn't serve you, what isn't helping you to reach your goals. Because I know that you're ambitious. I know that you've got, whether it's love or, you know, something on mission on your mind here, you know, you're ready to go. Okay. But again, we have to kind of get to a new point here. And the new point is going to come when we work with this energy to leave behind. Again, it's like leaving behind old defense mechanisms and different thoughts, um, different habits that just no longer serve us. Okay could possibly be just sometimes getting stuck, leaving behind, you know, getting, just being stuck. Okay. And, and, and like a skick overcoming, like a scared to go within type of an energy here. Okay. It's, it's kind of, there's kind of a warning, you know, not to expect perfection. And again, it's kind of this dealing with this, you know, love's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. It's not ever going to, you just like family is never going to be perfect. And if you're aiming for perfection, you're going to, you know, have a rude awakening or whatever. This is about turning that perfectionism into something and analyzing it and seeing, you know, what absolutely, again, needs to stay and what needs to go. So this practicality and letting go in this wedge is really important. Okay. Now moving on to the seventh. Okay. Still, of course, Gemini moon here. We're going to be a little work, work, work again. And we might have these new ideas about how to make things work. Okay. So we may be enthusiastic. And if you can sort of hone that and expand that and, and keep that enthusiasm going and that creative, you know, these creative ideas, keep them flowing. You know, how can you help this relationship? How can you help, you know, this love to, again, be more authentic and like bring it down to earth. It's all about these practicalities. Okay. And making sure that it's the right thing to do that, you know, if you're going to really focus on this and work on it, you know, you need to make sure that it's right, okay? And only if you're honest with yourself and truly loving yourself, okay? And again, it's helping yourself to be stable um, for Wednesday, especially because there's the energy on Thursday, oh gosh, in reverse on the floor, the energy for Thursday comes out as a cardinal T-square 
uh, two of them with a new wedge as well to deal with. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put most of this in another video because Gemini really only goes, um, all of this is central standard time that I use here, but um, about midday, we're switching over to the Cancer moon. So just want to kind of let you know, you know, some of that energy that we have for the eighth, but again, I'll probably mostly put that in the next video um, because I just don't want to make these too long. And so, yeah, watch out again for kind of that impatience and trying to make things, you know, go too fast again without going within, without learning your lessons. People are trying to get, get ahead in this relationship, but they've still got these old thoughts, beliefs, expectations, dogma, stuff that they believe about, again, about themselves, about the relationship, about their person, that they don't, you know, your person, I feel like has been doing a lot of emotional, everybody's been doing a lot of emotional healing. So it's like, we're going to have to re relearn our person. We're going to have to get to know them, you know, and again, it's just this creation, okay? Creating something new together, creating a new bond here, even um, if it's, like just mental, even if it's just in your head, having a different take on the bond. The way you look at things, guys, is so, so, so important. The way you look at things can really, you know, it, it keeps, it changes how you, how like much you stay motivated. And again, all of this astrology has to do with us being creators of our own lifestyles. It has to do with the holistic law of attraction. So definitely check out the program down below in the description box. And that will help you. It's a 30 video program. It goes through the holistic law of attraction, shadow work, and inner child healing to get you, you know, into your manifesting, you know, whether it's again, your twin flame, your love energy, um, or anything else as well. You're just in alignment with yourself. So you're able to work with your energies as opposed to working against yourself and your subconscious. Okay. So again, it's time to kind of prepare for this challenge. We might want to be you know, really going within as much as possible here before this Cardinal T-square on Thursday, okay? Oh, got the Hermit card again. So yes, yes, turn off the outside world, go within as much as possible, as much it is as humanly possible this week. Um, going within, staying humble and making sure that... Um, Wow. Yeah, you're getting ready for, for big new things here. Going within is getting you ready for these new, for a whole new life, whole new way of acting. And again, this could definitely be hot and spicy on the relationship coming to you soon. But again, if, if you do the work, if you do the shadow work, if you do the inner child healing, we've got to go deep here. All the beauty, all the magic, it's all inside of you. So when we heal our old wounds... We clear out just so many limited, we, we, we've been limiting ourselves so much. We didn't even realize all these possibilities that we have, that things we're capable of, things we're capable of attracting and doing here. Okay. So again, check out your other planets, check out your person, all your personal planets and those of your person. Always good to cross watch to get a a big full picture on not only how the energy is, but how everybody's connected and really experiencing a lot of the same energy at the same time. Um, so yeah, much love, many blessings. Take care. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.